this time I'm talking to you, we are in a farm that has been harvested, but the harvest has not been really good because the rainfall has stopped very early. The millet has not been able to get ripe at this moment. And uh, part of it that was ripe was consumed by grasshopper. I think that uh, there are indicators that show there is a, an imminent food crisis. I'm the chief of the village and when I get to the village and I see certain families, I really get so worried and I'm afraid of what is going to happen to them and to me in a few months to come. The greatest source of our food product here is the cereal bank. Usually, we do not open it until the beginning of the rainy season. But this time around, we have opened it because we cannot have food in the cereal bank and leave it there closed while people are suffering because of food shortage. There are families, they cannot even afford to have the basic food, which is millet. They usually go to the bush and get leaves. And when they boil it, they mix it with millet residue in the form of couscous. That's what vulnerable families eat. The people who can purchase millet, they grind it and they transform it into porridge. And that is what we eat throughout the day, from morning to evening, you'll find families who will feed only on porridge. In association with PLAN, they have these campaigns of screening. What is worrying me is these days, every child they take for screening, they find out that the circumference is very short, and they always tell us that it's because the child, this child is malnourished, and that is very much worrying me. You will find people going to the bush, especially women. Sometimes you will find them go out early in the morning and they will not come back until 5 o'clock. And what they do in the bush is to cut down wood and some of them will just collect uh, the faces of animals to bring. They sell both wood and faces of animals when they go to the bush. Two days ago we had a meeting because the teachers kept on complaining their classes are getting emptied. When we went to observe, we have seen in a class of 45 children, we hardly find 20. Most of the children have dropped out because they have to follow their families maybe to the nearby countries or they have to follow their families to go and get either wood or uh, animal faces. We have seen people selling more animal, more of their animals than usual to be able to get money to meet their uh, food needs, to be able to buy food. For that reason, we have we also observed that uh, many people have been going to find better jobs in nearby countries than usual. And uh, now when you come into in, in the cities like in Tilaberi, many people are leaving the villages to come and stay at Tilaberi. I think the big problem this year is related to the purchasing power of uh, the citizens. The grants are available, but what to buy the grants with is not there because of all the subsequent years where there was food crisis and the farmers had to borrow money to be able to meet their needs.